Alrighty. Alrighty. The chickens came down this morning. Here's a tree full of chickens. Look. Have a little rummage around. And I just realized that of course, when chickens don't have a chicken house to go to, like naturally, I think they just roost in trees. So that makes total sense why they were in those trees last night. When people make chicken houses, they like, they make little branches for them to stand on. We've been tricking them the whole time. There we go, leaving the cabin. The cabin of dreams. <laughs> I had an absolutely terrible night in the cabin. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, it was, it was pretty hot. I had the fan blowing in my face. I woke up like a million times. Yeah, yeah, and I think as well, we had like some bad bugs or something. Like my whole leg was itching, my back was itching. We had to put actually all of our clothes on. <laughs> it wasn't a very nice night. No, I guess you win some and you lose some. Yeah. And hopefully tonight will be better. Yeah. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 358 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. And we are here in the town of Oratina in Costa Rica. Whoop, whoop. And today we have a couple of important missions. The first is to replace our broken GoPro, which was on the rear pole, which decided to go for a walk whilst we were riding down the highway. Oh no. And then proceeded to get run over by a truck. Doo -doo. So we found on Facebook Marketplace another one which is actually in the capital, San Jose. It's a GoPro Hero 8, which was manufactured at the same time as the Max that we used to have. So other than the fact that it can't do 360 video, it should be pretty much the same for everything we need. And that's only gonna cost us about 135 pounds. So it's not too bad, but it's still a shame that we lost our beloved GoPro Max, which has been with us since the start of our journey. Yeah, totally. So yes, we're heading into Costa Rica's capital, San Jose. It wasn't part of our original plan, but of course this is the only place where we could find a GoPro. Yes, and I pray that the GoPro will still be for sale when we arrive there because the lady was like, yeah, if I can sell it uh, before you guys arrive here, then I will sell it, which is like, fair enough. After our brief visit to San Jose, we have another important mission, and that is to see an awesome volcano. I love volcanoes! And there are a lot of them to see here in Central America. This one is called Arenal, and it's surrounded by beautiful rainforests, and it's just going to be an amazing ride today. Yes, so we have about 30 miles to the capital, which is about like 50 minutes or maybe one hour, and it's already 9 o'clock, so better hit the road, let's go. Perfect, thank you so much. Any other batteries or just one? Uh, just one. Just one. Okay. Micro SD. So okay, micro SD. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's working. We had a camera here, but it fell on the on the street. Yeah, oh one, one car drove over it. Yeah. <laughs> the camera is broken. I give you a card for um, our YouTube. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, awesome, see you! Our first recording with the new camera! Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> camera, camera, camera! Okay, so it's time to put everything back together. So... Oh, Jesus, got glue dripping everywhere. So this bit goes inside here. This is actually the bit that broke off. This one broke off as well. So glue it all back together. Because I love this pole. Alright, yep. So this fella just came out the house and gave us these, these rain covers. He just came out and said, I have a gift for you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's awesome. Welcome to Costa Rica. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, how cool is that, hey? Whoa. <laughs> you are rain protected. I'm so rain protected. I'm ready to return back to Ecuador and tackle the rain again. <laughs> And um, this is our new setup for the GoPro. So basically we've taped everything up, we've super glued it and we've added a bit of dental floss and attached it to this clip. So basically if this does end up falling off again, it will kind of hang 
So let's imagine that this this all breaks apart, this falls, and then it falls. Oh, and there we go. Learning from our mistakes, hey? It's so amazing. Wow, what a clean lens. What a good lens. Here we go. There we go. Hello. Yes. We're back. That's awesome. Cool. Three cameras are back, baby. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so whilst we were making our way back out of San Jose, I thought I'd tell you guys a little bit about Costa Rica's capital city. So the city of San Jose was founded in 1739, but it didn't become Costa Rica's capital until 1823. The name San Jose is in honor of Joseph of Nazareth. So Jose, Joseph. And it has actually a really nice climate because it lays 1170 meters above sea level. So at the moment it's really nice, fresh 25 degrees. Yeah, it's actually really, really beautiful for riding in yes. compared to like the rest of Costa Rica that was like so hot. Boiling hot. So the city's population is only 340,000 people, but in the greater area, there's more than 2 million people living here. Hola. Gracias. Okay, go. So a recent study actually found that San Jose was the safest and least violent and dangerous city in Latin America. But now we're heading out, we've just gone through the payage and we are on our way to see a super awesome volcano. I'm excited and the weather looks really good as well, so I think we will get a good view of the volcano. I have to take off this <laughs> raincoat. So I think in the future when we wear them, we have to wear our uh, other raincoats on top. Okay. Double rain protection. So I just went here into the supermarket because we wanted to celebrate the success of our new GoPro with some <laughs> really nice treats. And I found a nice treat. It's like a um, cheesy bread. <laughs> with some marmite on top. <laughs> We are so incredibly boring, but it's surprisingly expensive here. I paid 25 pounds for some Red Bulls, some cheesy bread, and then I bought a muesli. I bought some sugary water and, oh yeah, and some coffee. And a really nice ciabatta bread and like the cheapest cheese I could find. Like just a few ingredients here uh, added up to 25 pounds. Where is Aldi? When do you need it, hey? <laughs> so we have left the busyness of San Jose behind and now we are snaking our way up into the mountains and the road ahead looks ridiculously windy. It's incredible how steep it is here. I mean, we had some really steep roads in Ecuador already, but this road here is like high up there. Pretty crazy road, but super sweet little villages alongside here. And also in between we have awesome views, awesome views. massive bamboo here oh my god yeah <laughs> nice it's gonna be a mountainous day i think i guess so too it's gonna be a windy day yeah costa rica is so pretty it's so pretty it's so clean it's a really nice country So we've stopped here in the town of San Ramon and it's still pretty hot. So we're following the advice of this lady in the hostel that we stayed at a couple of days ago. Hi, <laughs> Thank you. And having some pineapple. <laughs> she said that it was a good way to help cool you down. It has like anti-inflammatory properties. So we're giving that a go with our 
tropical iced tea as well. Mm. Yummy. It's a fruit fiesta right now. <laughs> so we've traveled 73 miles today so far, but we've been on the road since this morning for five hours and 24 minutes. And we have 44 miles to go to get to La Fortuna, which is like the beginning of the volcano area. So it's pretty slow going. It's pretty windy roads, a lot of cars. Yeah. And I'm just waiting to see if we can get out into a bit more kind of wild country, to be honest. It's a little bit too busy. Yes, me too. And I'm excited to eat the pineapple. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. So we have entered now the famous Costa Rican cloud forest. I saw a sign that this is some kind of cloud forest. Yeah, and it is very cloudy. <laughs> oh, hold on. One way bridge. Ooh. Yeah, it's actually crazy the difference in the atmosphere from when we came out of San Jose, 33 degrees, blazing hot, sunshine, and now it's like 22 degrees and uh, the air is like, yeah, moist. Oh, look, some dogs. Holy guacamole. But also like nestled within this forest area is what I think is tea plantations here. I'm not 100% sure, but they kind of look like tea bushes. Yeah, we can see actually loads like over the hills here. And we saw people already picking the leaves as well. So it's really interesting. Ooh. Whoa, okay. We're going over a crazy metal see-through bridge here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Be careful, my love. Yeah, that might be quite slidey for us, hey? Yes. Oh my goodness. Wow. Some crazy views. Crazy, don't look down. <laughs> No, this doesn't feel too great riding on this. Oh no! Wow! Pretty crazy stuff. Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Made it! <laughs> it's super wet here as well. We are in in the clouds, in a cloud forest. And actually on the other side of Arenal, the volcano that we're gonna be riding past today, is the most famous cloud forest in Costa Rica, which is called Monte Verde Cloud Forest. Holy moly, we got some rain. This is the last thing I was expecting today. Oh man. Yeah, but we're only two miles from the town of La Fortuna, which was sort of gonna be our pit stop anyway. So I reckon we'll just try to just blast our way the last two miles and then get a run for cover. Maybe stop, have a coffee. Oh my Lord. Oh no, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. I hope the GoPro 8 is waterproof. I believe that it is. <laughs> <laughs> Come just on, La Fortuna. Oh man, I just wanted to get that last couple of miles. Oh. Yeah, that's really unexpected actually. Yeah, that came on super fast. Aye, aye, aye. It's been quite a challenge today. We've only managed to do 115 miles in nearly seven and a half hours on the bike. The roads are pretty tricky here, to be honest. A lot of traffic, very windy, very narrow as well. And now rainy. <laughs> now wet as well to oh, no. throw, throw that into the mix. Be careful here. Yeah. Mm. Okay, one mile ahead. All right, let's just see if we can find somewhere to grab a coffee, somewhere to get undercover. How's the bread? Let's save it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it okay? Yeah. A little bit wet here, but yeah. otherwise, it looks good. Good. So yeah, we found a covered place, so we're just going to grab a couple of coffees here and see what happens with the weather, I guess. Uh, Gracias. It stopped raining, which is amazing. All right. So we had a bit of a decision to make and uh, we actually decided to stay here in La Fortuna tonight 
because it's already nearly four o'clock and actually the volcano Arenal should be just here like we're pretty close to it already but the weather is just too bad to be able to see it so we have decided that we will stay now here for the night and then hopefully tomorrow morning we have the chance to see the volcano yeah we should at least give ourselves one more chance hey because if we go there now and ride past it number one it's probably gonna rain again and number two we won't see anything yes yes you know we already went past uh, that volcano in Ecuador so the volcano is somewhere over there but it's so cloudy it's so rainy we can't see anything <laughs> and we couldn't see anything it was freezing cold we were wet and we had a terrible time basically <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so anyway it just makes sense for us to stay here in La Fortuna tonight there is a hostel nearby which is not cheap but relatively uh, cheap yeah it's still affordable it's like uh, a dorm room and a bed costs uh, 11 pounds so it would be like 22 pounds for the night for us both yeah just about uh, as much we can afford really it is a very very touristic place of course being so close to the volcano arenal um, so yeah i think that's pretty much the cheapest place we can get yep so I think it's literally just straight up ahead yeah, and then we're so. going to start tomorrow morning really nice and early and hopefully hopefully the weather will have cleared a little bit and we can get some good views of Arenal okay there's Hotel La Cascada just here yeah this one yeah hotel and backpackers all right uh, yep let's see mm -hmm. you never know maybe they give us a room maybe let's see a few moments later so Lavi just told me that they gave us a private room for the same price as two dorm beds <laughs> that's awesome and also apparently the parking is actually just the hallway here <laughs> oh no I don't know if the GoPro pole at the back is gonna fit but let's see How's the pole looking? Yep. Yes. Whee! Cool. All right, private room, baby. So that's 20, in the end it was 24 pounds for a private room. Yes. That's still the cheapest room in town, yeah. so that's good. that's good. Good evening guys, we made it, happy and alive. Yes, we have finished for the day and it's not raining and our room is just here. So it's like this one, we've got our own little balcony in front of the room. Yeah, and check out this beautiful park. It's absolutely beautiful, look at this tree. Wait, I've got to go around. <laughs> That's a massive crazy tree. So we're just going to walk around and see if we can find a bite to eat, maybe something local, maybe something Costa Rican style. Yeah, let's see what we can find and let's pray that it won't rain tomorrow and we have a beautiful view of the volcano. I really hope so. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, you can join us on Patreon. The, the, the link is in the description below. We will see you next time.